Everybody loves tacos, so let's give them something to taco about. Hey everyone, today we are making a Mexican casserole that you're gonna love. It's nice and easy and quick to do. I've tried to make it as, you know, quick and easy to make because Mexican food tends to be a little bit more labor intensive. That's just the nature of it. There's a lot of chopping, a lot of cooking, a lot of different things going on, and that's why it tastes so delicious. Today we're doing the Mexican casserole. I'll call it a taco casserole. We have some grass-fed beef that we're gonna be using to keep this as healthy as possible. I'm gonna be adding some potatoes to that, cut up into small pieces, and we're gonna add some enchilada sauce, and you have some options there. And I'm gonna show you, if you decide to buy your sauce, the best one to buy for the flavor and the ingredients. We're gonna put some cheese on there, put it in the oven, and then when we take it out, we're gonna be adding some lettuce, tomatoes, avocado, sour cream, some crumpled up uh, tortilla chips, and it is spectacular. And we're also gonna finish it off with a little special dressing that you are gonna love. It just brings this whole thing together. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after my chef joke. Okay, here's our first chef joke today. Why didn't the taco chef show up for work today? Because he had a bad queso the flu. Okay, we're gonna get cooking and talk about our ingredients. First up, I have a pot over here. I'm gonna be cooking some potatoes, which I have cut up. These are uh, Yukon Gold organic potatoes. You wanna use organic with potatoes, guys. There's a lot of pesticides in that. And then in this frying pan here, I'm going to be cooking up my grass-fed hamburger. You can use turkey if you want. You can sub in whatever you want. We're gonna get that in the pan. You wanna break it up. Now the potatoes, I'm parboiling those in this pot here. When, once this water gets hot, I'm gonna toss them in and they should take, because they're so small, look at this, they're not very big. So they're not gonna take very long to cook to where they're fork tender and then we'll add them to our pan here. Okay, water's ready, so I'm gonna add the potatoes. You can add a pinch of salt to that if you want. Now I'm cooking the ground beef over medium heat now I'm going to talk to you about the sauce that we're going to be using in here. Now, of course, I have my own enchilada sauce and it is really good stuff. Now, if you want to do this meal quick, you know, it's a weeknight and you want to get dinner on the table very quickly, then my recommendation, like I said earlier, I was going to tell you about some jar sauce that you can buy that tastes really good. It is a great substitute and it's this Siete brand red enchilada sauce. Their ingredients are just fantastic. So that's what we're gonna be using, and this is the one I recommend for both flavor and ingredients. You can't go wrong. I'm also gonna to toss in my onions, soften up a bit, and we'll cook this for about three or four minutes. If you have any excess grease in the pan after the hamburger's done, you can drain it out. I don't have that, so I'm not gonna be draining it. I'm gonna turn the temperature to low. I'm gonna add some diced green chilies. These are very mild. These are canned. Mix that in there. And I have some black beans. Now you can add whatever you want in here. Some people like to add corn. I mean, you can put in here whatever you want. It's time to test those potatoes because I think they're done. Yep. Drain the potatoes through a strainer and then place them right into the pan with the hamburger. And now we're going to add the siete sauce. Give that a stir to combine everything up, and then it's going in the oven. So we'll pour our mixture into a 9 by 13 baking dish, and then I'll spread it out with a spoon so it's nice and e you know even, and then we're going to top it with some cheddar cheese, and in the oven it goes at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes or until that cheese is completely melted and bubbly and everything's nice and hot. Okay, here's chef joke number two, it's really silly. Okay, you wanna know something cool? Taco cat spelled backwards is taco cat. <laughs> this is what it should look like after about 15 minutes in the oven. Perfect, look at that, cheesy and good. So while you're waiting for your casserole to come out of the oven, now you're gonna chop your lettuce, you're gonna cut up your tomatoes, you're gonna grate your cheese and have everything ready to go so when it comes out of the oven, you can put it all together quickly. 
So place some of that iceberg or you can use romaine lettuce right on top. Add some of those freshly chopped tomatoes or you could even sub in some uh, salsa. Next I'm going to crumble up some tortilla chips here. I'm using Siete's uh, grain-free tortilla chips but you can use regular ones if you want. And we're going to sprinkle that on top and this provides for a nice crunch. Then I like to add some sour cream and I love these tubes where you can just squeeze it out and it comes out real nice. Then we'll add a little avocado and finish it off with some cheese. To take this over the top we're going to add our oil and vinegar dressing which just ties everything together. It is so good on this you can't believe it. You can make this dressing ahead of time and it will keep for probably a couple of weeks. Make sure you shake it before you serve it. I'm going to leave a link for you in the description of this video so you can make this dressing. It's really simple. It just takes a few minutes to make. You're going to drizzle this dressing over the casserole right before you serve it. And just make sure you, you know, get it all over the whole thing. All right, now to serve this up, it's going to be a bit messy, right? Because it's just a big casserole and it's been sitting for a few minutes here, so maybe it'll stay together a little better. But it's going to be, you know, kind of gooey and delicious. And I think this is going to call for two spatulas. So you just do the best you can. You get it out, scoop it out. It's going to be cheesy, messy, kind of like tacos. And then you can add more condiments if you want. Now for the taste test. God, I've been waiting all day for this. I can't stop eating it. It's delicious. What makes this dish is the sauce. I'm telling you, the Siete enchilada sauce is the best enchilada sauce that I've ever seen in a, in a jar, okay? Not as good as mine, but it's the second best. That is delicious, all the flavors. That dressing really brings it all together, gives it a little tang. It's really worth making, guys. Check it out for your next Taco Tuesday. Now, if you'd like to try another casserole of mine, my son inspired this one. He loves burritos and he got me to make a burrito casserole. So if you like casseroles, that's the next one you gotta try. And that one actually uses my enchilada sauce. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed today's video, show me by smashing the like button and leaving me a comment, all right? If you have any recipe requests, I'd love to hear it down in the comments. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here next week for another Rockin' Recipe.